Tribal Makers, my name is Michal Malev and welcome to my channel. In today's combo, we're going to learn an intermediate fusion belly dance combination. It's four sentences, 32 counts, a fun follow along dance tutorial. Come and play with me, learn some new skills, polish your previous ones. And before we begin, I would like to say a quick thank you to all of my viewers and all of my subscribers. Thank you, you guys. Make sure you're warmed up, that you have a glass of water nearby. And let's begin with the practice. We begin the first phrase with some upper body isolation. So let's start with a basic dance posture, feet parallel to each other, head distance apart, free the knees, relax them, tilt the pelvis inwards a little bit, activate your core muscle, long spine, roll your shoulders backwards, and we're going to put our arms on our hips to facilitate the separation of the upper part and the lower part. And from here, we're going to slide our ribs, our chest, from one side and to the other and we're sliding our chest. Now you can either visualize that there is a string going through your chest and somebody's pulling it to one side and to the other and pulling it to one side and to the other or that there is a track that is going through your ribs and you're sliding on this track. Make sure that when you're sliding your chest, it's actually easier when you're putting your arms down, that you're not going downwards with it, you're not going upwards with it, you're sliding in a parallel line to the floor. If this feels really weird because we're usually not doing this kind of movement, you can push your ribs, use the arms to give you this biofeedback to the ribs to know what they need to do. You might feel your obliques working here because they do work hard to facilitate the movement to allow the upper body to move from one side to the other and they also separate the hips from moving here. You might even feel the inner costal, the muscles in between your ribs working here a little bit. This is a great workout for your um, abdominal muscles and for your back muscles when you're doing this movement. So we're going to take our arms to the side and I would like you to visualize where it is that your maximum spot was. So it can be here, it can be here, it can be here. Take a mental note of wherever it is that's your maximum spot today and we're going back to center. From here, we're going to take one break in the middle before we reach the full length of our chest slide. So on the count of one, we're in the middle and on the count of two, we did our full chest slide. So again, from the center, we have one, two, and on the three, four, we're sliding back to center. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So we have one, two, three, four. And this is the first half of the first sentence. So again, to both sides, just to feel the movement. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's transition into the cabaret stand because this is the way we're going to start the combination. So again, we have one, two, three, four. Same thing to the other side. We have one, two, three, four. Good. Now, from here, we're going to do on the count of five, six, seven, eight, a chest circle. So let's say we started the movement to that side. We finished our slide here. And from here, we're going to do a chest circle. So on the five, six, seven, eight, we're taking our chest forward a little bit. And with our arms, we're decorating this movement. So from the side, let's just do the chest so you can see me work. I'm going to that direction. So I'm taking my chest into the chest circle. Let's put my arms here. I'm not sure what to do with it, so it will look good on camera. I'm going to be here and from here we have five, six, seven, eight. So I'm taking my chest to the side, forward to the side and back to center. So from the beginning, let's do it to the side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I allow my elbow to add this little wave, this very small, very delicate swan arms that I'm adding into it. So let's do the same thing to the other side. I switch my feet here, and from here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you've noticed this slide that I just did, this one, two, and then this full slide, and then going into the chest circle, make the chest circle look way bigger than it actually is because we've started here and not in the center. So let's continue. After doing our chest circle, we're going back into the cabaret stance. So we're stacked, the base leg is slightly bent, 
And from here, we're going to do a very muscular movement. We're going to do the belly roll down. Now, the chest is neutral. We're not activating our chest when we're doing this movement. We're doing it on the count of two, a belly roll down. So your rectus abdomen is really working here and we're going down on one, two. On three, four, we're going to do a fast army. So we have three, four. Emphasize the in part here and try to maintain as much hip stability as you can. It can be a little bit strange for some of us to do an army on the, with the cabaret stand. If this is really uncomfortable for you, you can just go back into your basic dance posture with feet parallel to each other, hip distance apart. But if you do start to play with this asymmetrical stand, you really can feel the stretch of the hips here and enjoy this movement in your hips. This is wonderful for hip stability. So from the beginning, we have one, two, three, four. On the five, six, seven, eight, we're going to do a belly roll on the up. So we're taking it up. So from down to up. So we have in and up. Again, this is the muscles that are working here. My spine reacts to it, but it's not initiating the movement. The hip as well. They react to what's going on here because everything is connected, but I'm not working with my spine and I'm not working with my hips or with my glutes. I'm working with my abs. Again, those are the isolations that are beautiful in belly dance and infusion belly dance. It takes time, it takes practice play with it, enjoy it. It's actually really good for your digestive system to do all those kind of massages to your abdominal area. So we have five, six, and on the seven, eight, we're raising our arms up and raising our shoulders up. So this is a little bit strange and will feel a little bit tense, but this is a prep for the next count. So we have here, seven, eight, and really allow the elbows to go up and point the fingers downward. This is a dramatic variation on the swan arm. From the beginning of this sentence, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now let's do the same thing to the other side. From here, we're going down to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now let's do the whole combination from the beginning. So relax your arms a little bit here, and we start to that direction. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's do the same thing to the other side. So from here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going upwards with our arms here. Good, let's go to the next phrase. We're getting into the third phrase with a lot of tension happening in our shoulders and in our arms. We're going to relax all that in the count of one, dropping our arms down and dropping our heel down on the count of one. And for the next seven counts, we're going to shimmy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the five, six, seven, eight, we're adding the swan arms here. Now with swan arm, it's a symmetrical movement. And I really like to emphasize the elbow when I'm doing it. And I'm articulating all the joints in the arm here. I start with my elbow, allowing the wrist to follow. And the shoulder reacts to it. But the movement is not initiated in the shoulders. It's from the whole arm and initiate it from the elbow, at least for this stylization. You can definitely work more with your shoulders if you prefer that. Now, shimmy is a movement that likes movement. So if you're feeling that your shimmy is stuck, getting a little bit, you know, cranky and it's hard to move with it, move a little bit from side to side. Sway, make a hip circle, really enjoy and play with it. It doesn't have to be you know, very rigid shimmy that's only staying straight. If this is difficult, practice and practice and practice and add some movement into it. You can sway a little bit, you can go forward and back. It's actually very comfortable with this good positioning that we have going a little bit forward and a little bit back. So play with it, enjoy your shimmy. So let's do the same thing to the other side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you notice on the first four counts, I really let my arms go down slowly and then going up and going down. This is the fun, relaxing part of the combination. Let's do the whole combination from the beginning. So we start with this side. We have 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you want, instead of the swan arms, to do snake arms, that works beautifully. So play with it, enjoy it, make it your own. If you feel like practicing the swan arm, practice your swan arms. If you want to take your hands to the side and really play with your arms while you're shimmying, play with it. Layer the shimmy with whichever arm movement you want. This is your practice, enjoy it. And let's continue, or no, we haven't done the other side. I always forget the other side. So we have from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's continue. We'll add a bit of traveling on the last phrase. We're taking the front leg and we're crossing it to the front. Opening the back leg, crossing the front leg, opening the back leg, crossing and touch. This is the basic grapevine. So we have cross, open, cross, open, cross, open, touch. We're going to do just one of these. So we have cross, open, cross, touch. And when we're touching, we're repositioning our feet and our legs and our whole body into the cabaret stance. So this is the press to start the whole combination from the beginning. So again, to the other side, we have cross, open, cross, touch. So again, one, two, three, four. On the count of five, we're taking one arm, crossing it, six, taking the other, seven. We're doing the small dove hands here. And on the eight, we're opening our arms to the side in a sharp movement, prepping ourselves for the combination to start again. So let's do this again to the other side this time. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing to the other side. Really like work hard with your hands here. But again, don't overdo it. I mean, you need to have control in the movement. So whatever feels comfortable for your wrist is important. I like the sharp movement here. So let's do it again to the other side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now let's do the whole combination. So let's start with this side. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. And that's it. Let's play with the music. And one, two, three, four, listen to the bass. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And check. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one. Belly roll, shoulders up and drop. Relax into your shimmy. Add some arms. Cross, open, cross, touch, arm, arm. Sharp again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have you started enjoying the drama in the music? And in this choreography? Good. Sharp. One, two, three. Relax and play with it a little bit. Good. Check what you like more on yourself. Do you like the dramatic look or do you 
like smiling when you're dancing. Don't forget to use your arms. I just did. Drop two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And no matter what you're doing, don't forget to. And pose. Great job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the practice. If you did, join the tribe and subscribe to my channel. I upload new Tuesday combos every Tuesday, so you're more than welcome to check out the previous tutorials, mix and match the combinations, create your own dances with them. And that's it. I'll see you next week. And remember, life is too short. Enjoy it. Bye.